Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, in this little video here, we're going to create a section background that sort of rotates. It's kind of eye-catching, pretty easy to do. Something like this one here. When you mouse over it, it rotates when you take your mouse off of it again. It goes back the other way. So I'm going to go to a new page. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, you want to look at the Divi theme here. I've been using it for hundreds of sites and it just keeps getting better and better and more easy to use. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this section and we'll put it between these two sections. So I'm going to enable Divi's Visual Builder. That lets us build everything on the front end. And once enabled, let's slide down to where we want to go. What I'm going to do is I'll duplicate this section. The little blue tab here is for the section green tab for the row and the dark gray tab is for the actual module within the row itself so i'm just going to duplicate this by hitting the two oblong or squares right there and as you can see i've got two of the same under underneath each other now okay so i'm going to create a new section in the middle of these two i'm going to add a new section little blue button there I'm going to make it a regular section and inside I'm going to make it one column or one row or both I guess one column and one row not actually going to put anything inside there for the moment I will do in just a minute so I'm just going to X out of that so here's our regular section here's our regular row what I want to do first is make this row full width. And to do that, just click on the cog. It's changed slightly recently. There used to be a little button that just said make row full width. And I want to go to sizing, not spacing. There used to be a little button that said make row full width. But now all you need to do is pull the width slider up to 100% and the max width all the way to the right. And it'll make that row full width. And the reason they've changed that is you can now actually drag the rows to the size that you want them. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to just save that change. And as you can see, our green row here is now full width. Now within there, I want to put a, an image. So we've got an image background going on. If I just scroll down here. The gray blocks are the ones that came by default with Divi and there's a huge number of them. You can build just about any site with those. The different color blocks that I've got there are from third party plugins. So here's our image. Now I've been on unsplash.com and just downloaded a couple of random images here, abstract looking background images. So we'll take that red one that we used before. So now our section has actually got a background image. Now what I'm going to do is this section, I'm going to make this image even bigger so it's bigger than the actual side so that when it rotates you won't see gaps. And I'm also going to make this section a fixed height because at the moment it's sort of the whole height of that image there. So let's just save that. Let's go up to our section, which is our blue one right here. Hit the cog. And I'm going to do two things. And I'll put this CSS below the video so you don't have to copy what I'm doing here if you don't want to. First thing I'm going to do is write overflow hidden, colon hidden. That way, when that image rotates we're going to get it to rotate you won't see it spilling out of our section here and the second thing i'm going to do is make this a fixed height because we don't want it too wide so i'm going to say max height max height 
and let's say 600 pixels do it whatever height you want and as you can see there it's shrunk up to more of a manageable sort of size or the size I want because I'm just going to put a little blurb inside there in a moment so I've got those two let's save that now what do we actually want to do this background what do we want this background to do and as you can see when I've got my mouse on it it just shows the full image background but it's actually only 600 tall so we want the image to sort of rotate when we put our mouse over it. So let's go to our image cog here, this little dark tab, hit the cog to edit it. What we're going to do, we're going to go to design. We're going to go down to transform. Now you've got scale, translate, you've got rotate, you've got skew and you've got transform or origin. I'm going to start on the first one here. I'm going to make that image twice as big as it is at the moment by simply typing in 200% here, or just 200, it'll put this percent in for you. And as you can see, it's made that image a lot bigger there. That way, when I flip it around the other way, there won't be any gaps. And now I'm going to hit my little arrow. If we hover over the transform word there, Go past the question mark, the little phone icon to the arrow. It gives us default and hover. If I click on hover, when I hover on it, I want it to rotate. And just play with these to, to you get them how you want them. I'm just going to say, say 180. As you can see, that's rotated there. Let's even make it. Bit bigger than that that was 18 actually not 180 there we go so that way when we hover on it it's going to rotate nicely like that so let's just save this and see what we've got save changes hit the little purple button save and exit the visual builder you don't have to do this at this stage i just want to see exactly what we've got exit visual builder And let's go down there. There it is. When I mouse over there, that should rotate. There we go. It's doing exactly what I want. It's doing it a little faster than I'd actually want it to do. And it's sort of a little too instant. So let's change our settings a little bit to make it a little bit more graceful. So I'll enable the visual builder again. and go back down to where we want to edit. Now let's edit our little section or image module here. Hit the cog. And let's go to advanced, down to transitions. And here we can tell it how fast or how slow we want it to actually do it. Now I want it to take quite a long time. If I shoot that up, it goes to 2000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. If you want it more than that, you can just type in the value you want over here. Let's give it three. So that's three seconds, 3000 milliseconds. Don't want any delay. You want it to start straight away when your mouse hovers over it. And I'm going to change the actual speed curve. We've got ease, which is fine, but I want ease in and ease out. So it'll start off a little slower and it'll finish up a little slower when we take our mouse off. So let's just save that and see what we've got. Again, you don't need to save and check it. I just want to do this to see if it's doing exactly what we want here. Got the check mark. Let's exit the visual builder. And down to our section now, let's hover over it. There we go. It's doing it a lot more gradually, which is fine. Now when I take it off, it should do it a similar way, sort of smoother or more gradual. There we go. So that's doing kind of what I want for that section. But now, of course, I want to put something in here. Now we've already got an image blurb in here or image module in here. What I like to do would be to have a blurb Um, light in color that stands out and to do that we need to add a, another section below it 
and then put some negative margin on there and pull it up so it's on the correct in the correct place here so let's enable the visual builder again once enabled let's slide down to where we want to go which is right here and as you can see like i mentioned earlier when you hover over it it shows the whole image and it does show the overflow so to make things easier what i'm going to do is go down here to the little purple button click on it I'm going to go over the left hand side and hit this little icon here which will enable us to edit it in wireframe mode which is kind of back end mode and it's great so you're not distracted by any of the images if we go up here's our row with our image red background image i'm going to add a new row single column single row there i'm going to add a blurb and let's put some text in there. And we'll just get, to, let's go to lipsum.com and get some dummy text. And grab a little bit of text here. And we'll put that in the content. OK, and what I want to do, I want to use an icon instead of an image. So I'll check this little box. Use icon. Yes. Choose the first one I see, which is that one right there. And let's go over to our design tab. I'm going to want the image and icon to be white so we can see it against that background there. Don't want to circle the icon. Icon's fine on the top and the text. I want that to be centralized and also I want it to be light in color. Let's go to my title text and bring it up in size. Title text color, title text size, 18 pixels. We can always change this in a moment when we see it. I'm going to put it up to 40 pixels and maybe too big. I'm going to give it some negative margin so it jumps up to the section above. Design. Go to spacing. I'm going to give it a negative margin of say minus 40 of viewable width VW. That should jump it up and we may have to change where it actually is. So let's just save that. Go to our desktop view again. And there it is right there. I don't think it's quite high enough because remember when I take my mouse off, we're only going to have 600 pixels width. So it needs to come up a little bit more. I'd say it's a little too far down right here. So let's hit our little cog. And let's go back to our spacing. Let's make it say 50. Go up. Yeah, still not quite enough. We can just use our little arrows. Because it's negative, I'm hitting the down arrow. It's making it less and less. Till we get it where we want it, which is somewhere like that. 67, 68. Let's just save that. Let's save our changes. And once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder and see what we've got. We scroll down. There it is. When I hover over it, there we go. That's rotating. When I get off of there, it's going back on itself. We can see our blurb module fine. So there you have it. There is how to create a rotating section background for your website. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. 
as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.